tides or windmills, you know, there's so many different ways to run our cars off of water and stuff. And the reason that they don't allow that, like I said, is because burning the oil into the atmosphere, the oil, okay, it has ether in it. And the ethereal, this, you know, visible atmosphere, the, you know, everything goes through. Uh, when the ether is burned into the atmosphere, it's like a separator, and it keeps us separated from ourselves. And um, like our auras, for instance, you know, that are around us, it's supposed to be more like inside of us, okay? That's like a part of us that it has holes in it and can be gang raped by every entity out there, you know? I mean, just feeding, they're feeding off of that. And so to, you know, visualize and pull that inside of you and pull your aura and all your colors and emotions inside of you, you know, help bring your spirit back into your body. You know, hang on a little bit longer, I swear. I swear to you there's a miracle on the horizon. So close. I mean, you've made it this far. We're not going to go down like this, like a scumball in space, like a failed experiment. This world is our home. And if we don't take care of our home, then perhaps we don't deserve one, okay? And if the earth dies, we all die, no matter what nationality we are or what race or what species, okay? This is our home, and we, we have to take care of it. We have to take care of each other, and it's not a life to learn. It's a life to remember, and I just want you guys to know that I swear to you, I promise you, just hang on a little bit longer. The miracle is so close on the horizon. And the suffering is almost over. It really is. And um, my Master Mason, Michael Rogers, the one here in Las Vegas who was the host for Draken, the reptilian, for 20 years, and then who also hosted Pendar when Pendar would come talk to me and stuff. Michael, I love you, sweetheart. I love you so much. And I don't want to hurt you. And I'm not using your name to try to hurt you. You are a central character in this. I mean, you are such of a central a character, and you are so important. And plus, you're the only one with a compatible aura for reptilians to inhabit that's not inhabited. You were for 20 years, but now you're not. But you know that we've come together, and when I would come to the office, and we would, well, I'm not inhabited either. I'm the only girl, and I guess, I don't know what all that means, but you remember going to the office and Mio Ho Ren Draco, Mio Ho Ren Geiko. I love you so much, Michael. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you, stand up and be counted, and you still have those titles, even though your business shows on you know nine digits and your assets, but yet you don't even have a key to your own safe. You don't even you know have the money. You can't even access any of this money. And the Royal Order of Gestures, the 181 Court, that two city block, you know, and they're using. That also, along with your address under your name, you know, and all that money going through there and stuff, and but yet they're, they're, you know, denying you everything, not even the proper medical care. And the reason you're in so much pain and the reason you're suffering so much, Michael, you know, is because of what they've done to you and the electrocution at Boho and the chips in your head and all those bumps and incisions and the, your feet being blackened from electrocution and the hole, he has a hole in the back of his, his back, by the back of his spine. If you pull an ink pen thing out in the skinny part, you could stick that up inside his spine. Literally, he's got the needle holes behind his ears, and he's in so much pain, he can hardly walk. Um, you know, or do, he's in so much pain all the time. Michael, I told you, too, also, the sulfur, I, my visions tell me, if you go soak in the sulfur springs, that will immediately start to ease your pain. I mean, um, um, enormously. I swear to you. Um, what do I have? I have... Ooh, I'm already almost out of time. I have so much to say. I made a couple videos telling you guys a lot about a lot, but they, um, one was 11 minutes and two seconds, and it was too long, and the other one was 15 minutes, so I didn't really get them out. But I will be, um, having to redo them and tell you what I was saying in those, but I have a lot to say. I'll be back, but Michael, I love you. I love you, sweetheart. Please contact me and know that I need you, we need you, because you are the, you are capable of inhabiting the reptilian so we can get Kependar and communicate with him through the back from the fourth dimension, not to inhabit you permanently, but just temporarily so I can communicate with him again and find out more because he's got the information 
that we need. And when he was still alive, I didn't ask enough questions. I mean, when he was still here, there were so many things I should have asked that I didn't. Um, and I love you guys. I love you all so much. I swear to you, hang on a little bit longer. The miracle is on the horizon and the pain and suffering and confusion and loneliness is almost over forever. And you are not alone, I promise you. I swear to you. I love you. I love you.